Hey guys, Harry Hare here. And Happy New Year! That's right, it's 2020. The new year has begun. And today, I have a fast food tier list I am going to make in front of your very eyes. Wow. I know it's been done before, I know, but it's my turn. I'm a YouTuber now. Let's go, baby! Without further ado, let us begin. Here we have Burger King. So a few months ago, I 100% got food poisoning from a Whopper. F. Carl's Jr.? Eh. I honestly haven't been to Carl's Jr. that much, so uh... I'll put it slightly higher than Burger King, but hey, it ain't, it ain't that special. It is not that special. Okay. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is very near and dear to my heart. 100% S tier. 100% S tier. I get so mad when Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. It pisses me off. It really, really does. Chipotle. Okay, Chipotle. You've never done me dirty, Chipotle. Your queso isn't that good. I'll put you at A for now. Domino's. Domino's. Definitely one of the better pizza places. Especially with their online service for delivery i think it is very top tier I'll, I'll give it an a i'll give it an a dairy queen eh, it's like it's like a country fast food place you really only see them out in the country very rarely do i see any here in dallas it's okay it's decent it's decent i'll put it at a c five guys five guys I'll put it at an A. I've had it a few times. It is very high quality burgers and fries. It's up there. It's good stuff. I wish there was one closer to me, but there is not. In and Out Burger? Eh. I'm gonna put it at a B. I think it, it's solid food, but it's overhyped. It's overhyped. It's really good, but I think there are local burger places that are much, much better. My favorite thing about In-N-Out Burger is definitely their animal style selection and the shakes. Shakes are really, really good. Jack in the Box. I'm gonna put that at a E. I'm gonna put that in an E. Um, not that good. Um, good drunk food, but past that, I would never go there sober, to be completely honest with you. Jersey Mike's, S tier, immediate S tier. Their sandwiches are high quality. So good. So good. The Italian, literally one of my favorite sandwiches in the entire universe, period. KFC. Good old Colonel. The Colonel Sandys. Um, uh, I'm going to put it at a C. I think it's very mediocre. Um, I do like their potato wedge style fries. I'm not going to lie. And their popcorn chicken and their potato bowl. Never mind. I'll, I'll put it up to a B. That potato bowl, man. It's real good. Real, real good. If you haven't tried it, you gotta try their potato bowl right now. I tell you. Post made it. Get that potato bowl in your system. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. It's cheap. And that's about it. Uh, McDonald's. It's, it's it's not particularly the best food, obviously. I mean, it's McDonald's, but God, when I am drunk and hankering for those McNuggets, they really always do hit the spot, unless they're too cold. That's never good. When they're too cold, that's disgusting, putrid. But I'm going to put it up at A. I love their fries, too. They're so addicting, you know. You can't go wrong with McDonald's. I could eat it sober. I would rather eat it drunk, but I like McDonald's. Panda Express. Panda Express. I have never been disappointed by the Panda. The Panda has never done me dirty. I definitely think it's a place I go to more than other fast food restaurants. So I'm gonna put it at a B. I'm gonna put it at a B. It is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Their spring rolls, oh, so good. I, I normally shove an orange chicken into the spring roll and it is the best combination of anything ever. I highly suggest you try that. 
Panera. Um, I've been here a few times with my mom. It's definitely like a mom place. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I would not normally go because I don't ever crave it. Um, good soups and paninis, so I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C. Papa John's. Papa John's. I like their garlic sauce that they give you with your pizzas. Um, sometimes maybe it's just my Papa John's, but the dough is very kind of mushy and not cooked all the way through. And that really bothers me. Like, I feel like that really takes away from the pizza. So I think I'm going to put it at a D. I'm sorry, Papa. I'm sorry. The hut, the pizza hut. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but their thin, thin crust um, pepperoni pizza. I did a, re a, a review on it, <laughs> as you guys might have seen. Um, it's so good. I don't know what it is about it. It's just so, like, classic, like, pep pizza. It hits the spot. It's so good. Um, so I think I'm going to put Pizza Hut at a B just because of their pepperoni pizzas they make. Their thin crust peps. I love it. I love it so much. Shake Shack, I'm going to put it a B. I literally never eat there, but I know it's good stuff. I know it's a high quality chain. I know they have really good ingredients, good burgers. I've been there a handful of times. I'll put it at a B because I, I think it's just really delicious. Um, Sonic S tier, immediate S tier. I've been here, uh, not here. I've been to Sonic so many times in my life. Um, and it's just always been the best. Like the slushies they have. I always get the cherry limeade slush. It is so good. It is delicious. I'm probably going to go get one after I finish this video, to be completely honest. It sounds so good right now. And their cheese tots, their, uh, they're everything. You really can't go wrong with Sonic. I'm not gonna lie. Subway. I mean, besides, you know, the whole PR fiasco with Jared. I have eaten Subway since I was a baby boy. And there is something about the smell of Subway when you walk into a Subway. It is truly a good smell. Um, the bread they have there is really good, specifically the Italian herbs and cheese. And hey, I honestly like Subway. I really do. It's not as good as Jersey Mike's at all, but it's pretty darn good. I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a B. Taco Bell Immediate S, oh my god, it has been a savior for me so many times in college. There was uh, Taco Bell really close to where me and my roommates lived, and we would go there so much, and it was always good. Um, the Baja Blast, the frozen Baja Blast I would get there during the summer, great, fantastic, superb, absolutely superb, and just the generic tacos, not even the Supreme tacos, I'm talking the generic tacos they have. Really, 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 really good. Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy's has always been good. Wendy's has always been good. I've loved Wendy's since I was a kid. Going there for the Frosties has always been a really, 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 really happy thing in my life. Frosties make me happy. I think they make everyone happy. Um, I'm going to give Wendy's an A. I really do like Wendy's. I think they have a lot of good food at Wendy's. And last but not least, Arby's. Immediate F. I love the marketing team, the social media team. I love what they do. I think all of their, uh, the ways they advertise the food is super creative and awesome. But it's just absolute trash. I've never enjoyed anything I've eaten from Arby's, and I don't think I ever will. They need to step their game up. Come on, Arby's. I know you're better than this. Please be better. So yeah, that's my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below of what your New Year's resolution is. My resolution was to start doing YouTube, and you know, I started my New Year's resolution a bit early, but it's been awesome so far. I've really enjoyed making videos for you guys, and I have a lot of ideas about stuff I want to do in this coming year. So thank you so much again, and I hope you guys have a great 2020.